Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I have taken the crazy pages and I have started making a journal with it. And basically what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you the pages that I made and then I'm going to show you how to bind it. So let's start, let's start in the center and then we'll build our way back to the cover. So this was one of the pages that came in the crazy pages and I added this piece and this piece which was an altered portion of one of the pages that was sent to me and then I made these little journaling cards by spraying with tattered angels and then using a scrap out of one of the other pages that someone sent. So there's one page. This page I left as it was when it came to me. I just thought it had really cool texture on it. So I'm just going to put that in the journal just as it is folded in half. This page here is an envelope. So what I did was I took the envelope apart. It was a 9 by 12 and I cut off the edges and then I sewed a pocket as well as did some mixed media on here with some tattered angels and paint and then I added a pocket on the inside out of an old book page and added some of the crazy pages pieces and then this is just a scrap that I stuck in here so this can be a journaling card and then this was one of the notes that someone wrote and I just zigzag stitched over it so I could write on here if I want or uh, be able to see the other so that was the next page. There was a doily in the mess and so I left that in all those pages. And then this was something that somebody sent. Thanks for going to the hospital when I got stitches. I thought that was really cute, isn't it, darling? And then the other side says, thanks for being there when my boyfriend dumped me. <laughs> On this page, she sent as just this side without this piece that I put on there. This was someone else's and she left a tab so that you could bind it into a journal. So I added this pocket and this journaling card using some of the crazy pages. On this side I added an envelope and I added a little index card inside and then I've got a journaling card behind and I've added a page that someone sent me in the crazy pages out of an old book. And then here, I took a scrap and sewed it to a journaling card. And then I made a pocket out of one of the other crazy page pieces. So that makes this page. This is another envelope that I painted. So it was a craft color envelope. And I ended up covering it with some acrylic paints, just craft paints, and some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. And then this was a part of an envelope that I cut apart, and I covered up the person's address. This is one of the crazy pages. This is a portion of a crazy page that had some music on there, and then I colored it with some paint and I did some stamping over it. Here's another one of the crazy page elements and I just attached it that could be written on the back side or not. And then on the other side, this page just had the lines and the stickers and the the sticker and the date with the little tassel. I added stenciling with my Tattered Angels Glimmer Miss. Here is the other half of the piece that wrapped around. It was just a piece of canvas and I went ahead and kind of painted over it and then added the little dragonfly. This page had already been folded this way I think it was and I ended up adding another fold to it and I thought well this will be good to add pictures onto, could write directly on it. Just a neat texture but I added a bag. This is from Canvas Court Brands and this was a sticker that was in the crazy pages. This was a little tag that was in there and it just happens to fit. This is another one of the envelopes that was sent to me. They had some pretty paper where they had closed it and 
I went ahead and added one of the other crazy pages here. This is a piece of crazy page, and this was a crazy page that I attached to a uh, index card, and there's a pocket on it, so it can have other things added to it. And then over here is another pocket, and then this was a piece of the crazy pages that someone sent me and I just attached it to the back side and then added the journal card. This was one of the envelopes that came to me decorated. This is covering up the address of the other person and, or the postage, I don't remember, postage. I couldn't get it to peel off so I just covered it up and made a journaling card. This was another piece of the crazy pages as well. And then this was just a scrap that I had left over and it's covering up a word on here. On this side I did some stenciling with Tattered Angels and this is one of the crazy pages. And then this is my crazy page stuck in here. I thought it just kind of went with that. And then this is the cover and the cover is made out of watercolor paper that's approximately nine and a quarter inches tall by six and a half inches wide. And so this is one of the crazy pages here and here. And this is a crazy page that I altered. And then I made this journaling card and that's a piece of the crazy page supply. Over here is another journaling card. And then this one, I used a portion of the bigger piece and added a little tag inside of it. Isn't that cute? This was a piece of watercolor paper that had some texture on it, but it hadn't been colored. It was a great big piece and I sprayed it and I painted it and ended up making this cool pocket out of it. And then here is the cover. So this piece was one of the crazy pages and it has a pocket here. On this side in the background, I ended up spraying with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist and then doing some stamping over it. And then I sewed this on the cover. So there is the book pages. So let's put these all together and make the journal. So what I like to do is I like to line up all my pages within each other. And when they are different sizes, it's real important to kind of get those centered so you know that it's going to get a hole poached through it and will catch in the binding. Once I have all the pages centered, I like to hold them together with something. And in my case, I use these giant paper clips. I just found that that just helps keep all the pages together while I am punching holes and sewing together. Now for a single signature journal, it's pretty easy to poke holes and sew it together in a pamphlet stitch. So I thought I would just show you what I do. I've got a scrap piece of paper here. And what I'm going to do is, it's lengthwise, I'm going to fold it in half, it's a, a little over two inches. When it's a single signature, it doesn't really matter how wide that piece is. It's just to help as a template. So I'm, it's a piece of cardstock, so I'm going to fold it in half. So the idea is that will then rest into my journal. But I need to figure out where the center is and then measure from each end. And so what I like to do is just take the whole thing and fold it in half in the other direction. And then I'll take a marker and mark that center. So there's my center right there. And then what I like to do is approximately a, an inch to an inch and a half from each edge, I will mark it. So I'm gonna just take a piece of paper here just so you can see. So probably about an inch and a half. So I'm going to mark that. And then what I like to do is I will fold that over and then I will take my awl and I will poke through. And then that is my top and my bottom. And then here's my center. Does that make sense now that there's a mark here, here, and here? That's just a smudge, so disregard that. So what I like to do next is take this and lay it into my journal into the center, getting it lined up from top to bottom. So we're matched on the top and the bottom. And then I'm gonna poke holes. So I've 
just putting some fun foam to protect my work surface. If you have a bookbinder cradle, which I have one of those as well, it's better to keep the pages at a V while you're poking the holes so that all those nestle together. So I'm just going to take my Tim Holtz craft pick and poke all the way through all of the layers of book pages, journal pages, and the cover. All right, so that has the holes all the way through. The next thing I do is I use waxed linen thread. I find this works the best. I have a link to my shop where you can get this, um, or to Amazon, because it seems to be the least expensive and it's strong and it works really well. So what I like is three lengths of this, the length of the book. So one, two, and three. And this kind of ensures that I have enough to tie off. Then I have a book binder's needle. It's a heavier needle than say a darning needle or a yarn needle. So I'm just threading that through. I'm gonna start in the center of my book. So I'm gonna find that center hole and go to the outside. I'm gonna grab onto this tail so I don't lose it here. Then I'm gonna go up to the top hole and poke to the inside from the outside. Pull that up. I find if I pull this tail towards the top, when I pull this and then go back through the center, I don't end up splitting the fibers. If you don't pull this up, then you put the needle through it and it's hard to tighten up later. So I'm just making sure that's nice and tight. And then I'm gonna go to the bottom hole to the inside again. I'm gonna take the thread and needle and go under this first stitch and pull it down and pull the other one to the top in opposite directions. And I wanna make sure that this is tight on the inside and on the outside. So it looks pretty tight to me. And then I'm just gonna tie a square knot, which is basically taking the two ends and tying them twice. And then I'll just cut off any excess here. I may embellish that later, I don't know. Sometimes I put little things on the string, sometimes I don't. So there is my Crazy Pages journal that I made, and I'll just kind of quickly flip through it since you've already seen all of the pages. I love this project, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed using all of these elements to make this junk journal. I hope that you like seeing this. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Of course, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and comment below of what you thought about these crazy pages and does it inspire you to make your own crazy pages. Make sure you check the description box for links to lots of things including social media and my group and let's see just stuff <laughs> thanks so much everybody for watching i greatly appreciate each and every one of you have a fabulous day bye